My name is Leela and I'm from Spectrum Community Arts. Today I'm here at the Higgins Museum and Gallery and we're going to do some arts and crafts. Let's go! We are making a hot air balloon inspired by Burnaby's Air Adventures. Shall we get started? First, Let's take a look at the materials we need for this session. We're going to need some thin sheets of colorful paper. Could be white paper, you can color it and decorate it however you want it. And some thicker card paper. We will also need a toilet roll, some string, some tape, anything you want to use to decorate your craft with. I have sequins, some glitter, lots of colors of glitter. I got some paint and some markers, a pencil, some scissors, liquid glue, and stick glue, some foil, and a battery powered tea light. The first step is to take your toilet roll and fold it in half like this, fold it to make it flat, and then you cut it in half like this. Okay, now you see that we have, it's not round anymore, we have a bit of a weird shape, a bit of a leaf shape. What you want to do is open it and fold it the other way. There you go. So now we have four folds in this toilet roll. And then when we open again like this, it looks more like a square. And I like to reinforce these corners like this. So making them a bit sharper and now we have a little square with the toilet roll. With this you have a couple of options. You can decorate it by painting all over it. I have an example. So this is one I have painted. It actually looks really good if you use paint and you can also cover it with paper, like I have done with this one. The advantage of using paper is that you don't have to wait for it to dry. For the video today, I'm going to use paper. But if you need some time, you can pause the video, paint your, uh, your toilet roll and take your time. Now, to use a piece of paper to cover this toilet roll, I can use my soft thin paper would be easier to use it. And what you want to do is put your sheet down on the table and from the edge of the paper, it could be any edge, but from the edge of the paper, you want to place your toilet roll in one of the corners of the sheet of paper and just mark where the toilet roll ends. You see? Just a little line so we have an idea of, of where we need to cut. Now do it again, but closer to the center of the sheet. And then on the other side of the sheet. Okay, so now I have three lines that give me an idea of where I need to cut. I'll grab my scissors and cut on top of these lines all the way to the other end. First, because it is a bit too long, 
as you can see, I can go all the way around the, the, the toilet roll, my little square, and I still have quite a bit left. So what I like to do is to leave a little bit extra and then cut the rest off. I do a little fold like this, so I know more or less where I want to cut it. And you can see it like this. And I'll cut around this one. Okay. Now, we need to put glue. I want to use the stick glue for this one because it dries quickly. We need to put some glue on this paper. And then carefully cover the toilet roll and you can line it up with the edge of the toilet roll and then guide yourself that way for the bottom part of the basket i like to use the thicker card paper and what i do is i place the basket like this, close to one corner of the paper. And without even measuring, I just cut a square that is bigger than the basket. This is my square of card paper. You see how it's bigger than the basket? Okay, and that's fine. Now, we need to glue this to this card paper. And for this part, the best glue to use is liquid glue around the edges of the square. You want to put some glue on it. So you want to make a little square of glue. This is what I got, a square of glue. And then I place the basket on top of it and I try to get as much glue as I can on the bottom of the basket. I sit a little bit to make sure it's all connected. Now you're gonna have a bit of a mess of wet glue around the edges and that's okay. The best thing to do now is to leave this aside, place it to the side and to put something like, um, let me show you here, like something heavy but not too heavy that it will crush the paper, but something like this and just put it on top of it. So this will add some pressure to the paper and the toilet roll and it will make them stick together better. And now you put this to the side and you wait for it to dry. Now, the next step is to create a mold for the balloon. And to do that, I like to use just normal white office paper. We're gonna fold this sheet of paper in half. And on one side, we're gonna draw of the bag, like this. So a shape like this. For that, so we need a very large circle at the top and a thinner end here, almost like a triangle at the, the end. And you want to make it big, so you want to start at the top here and go down. So we have something like this. You see the line? Okay. Now we need to cut along this line. And here we go. We have the shape of our balloon. So we grab a fresh sheet of paper. We'll place our balloon on top, our mold on top, and with a pencil, 
I'm going to trace it very carefully, taking my time. So this is what we have. All right. Now we need eight of these. So we need to do this eight times. And you can use all different color papers. You can use all the same color. You can do two different colors. You can feel free to do however you want to do it. And draw eight of these and then cut along the lines of all eight of them. So let's get cutting. We need eight of these. So now I have my eight balloon shaped colorful sheets of paper. <laughs> okay, I've got all different colors. Now I want to fold each one of them in half, like this. It's good to. Um, focus on this end and make sure that this is folded in half. Takes a bit of close attention to detail. And match the lines as best you can. And you fold it in half like this. Okay? So we're going to do this for all of these papers. I have all of my pieces of paper folded in half. We're going to stick all of these pieces of paper together. For that, we're going to use stick glue. So what we want to do is Place the first sheet of paper on the table. Put some glue on it. And then stick the next piece of paper on top. And make sure you align them as much as possible. So I like to follow the bottom line to see if they are aligned or not. So that's where I start to stick them together. And then I just put some pressure with my fingers so they can stick together nicely. And then I do the next one. Okay. Now we're going to leave this aside for a moment. Now we'll grab our string and for the string we want a long string and four short strings. Stretch the string. This looks good enough. And cut. One long strip and one short one and then I use this one to measure the other short ones so I'll put them together I match them and that way I know how long the new one is to be okay now we do the other one. Oh, now we do it again. Okay. With the long one, we want to make uh, some knots in one end and a little lace on the other end where we can hold. Okay, so on one end, we'll just make a few knots. Make one knot 
and then we'll try to make a couple more and the closer they are together if they can be on top of each other that's even better okay and on the other end you want to make a little lace around your fingers or two fingers more or less okay you hold it We'll put it through and I like to keep my fingers inside the the lace so I can so it doesn't get too small I don't accidentally uh, just make another knot so once you're like this you can then pull the short part and make a knot oh that's what I'm talking about <laughs> You see, I pull it too close to the end, but then I can pull it out a bit. Now, put this long string to the side, and we'll grab our four small strings. We'll hold them leveled. Okay, I'll make sure they're all on the same level. Hold them all together, and now we make. We need to make a knot, holding all of them together. So I'm going to hold it there, go around, put them through the hoop, but before I finish the knot, I need to leave it open a little tiny bit, and I'm going to put the knotty side of the long string, not the hoop side, the knot side, through this hole. Okay, so it's like this. And then finish the knot. Now, we want to grab the knot at the end of the long string, so we can pull that out a little bit. And we can rip piece of foil. doesn't have to be perfect. I just rip it like this. And then you want to um, cover all this notch. There's a little bit of extra string. I'll fold this and I'll use the foil to cover it up. And you want to have some wrinkly parts, a, a lot of folds, a lot of little uh, wrinkles, because this is going to reflect our tea light candle. So you just have something like this. There's no rule of what it should look like. Just something like this. And then we'll pull it back to the end. So it'll look like this. You can also cut this um, this unnecessary, this excess uh, string here at the top, in the top of the four short strings, because this is not important. It might be on the way. So I'm just gonna cut them a bit shorter, like this. Now we're gonna attach the string to the balloon. So we're gonna have our glue together pieces of paper and we need to stick this string along this edge like this so this needs to be attached like this and we're going to use tape for this step I like to place it like this first so I have an idea of what it's going to look like there you go. And you have a couple of options of what to do. You could just uh, stick it like this. But what I like to do is to get a really long string of tape. And then I put 
the string along the center of my tape and to place it like this. And then you see how I have a little bit of tape on this side of the tape of the string and a little bit of tape on this side of the string. So I'm going to use this side of the tape to stick to the side of the paper that is facing up. So right at the edge. And I'm going to put the string um, touching the edge of the paper. So this is what we have. See, we have the tape at the top, the string is just along the paper, and we have some leftover tape at the bottom. And we're going to put this side down. We can cut this tape out. See how there's some axis here. We don't need this. I cut it out. Put the tape away. Now place this down and I'll pull the other side of the tape onto the top of this paper. Now when we hold it up like this, see this the, the rope, the string is stuck to the balloon, the papers, and we have this hanging below. Now we're gonna stick these two ends of the papers together so that we close the balloon. To do that, we're going to use our stick glue again. We want to put glue on one of the sides and then I'll grab the other end and Close it. I'll go as far as I can. Now remember that we left this drying. Uh, this one specifically is not dry yet, but for this video I prepared one in advance. So I'm going to use this one from now on. And now that the glue is completely dry here, I can use my scissors to cut the, the excess edge of this paper. There you go. See, we don't have that much of an edge anymore. What we need to do is tape each of these short strings to one corner of the basket. So we grab our tape, I'll cut a small piece of tape, so put a little bit of string in there and stick it with the tape. This one, I got a little bit of a messy piece of tape at the top because it got stuck to my finger. I can easily cut that out with my scissors. So it's okay if there's a little bit of tape sticking out, just cut it out afterwards. Now let's see, next string. And then the last step is to put our battery powered tea light candle. We put it inside the basket. I like to open these a bit more so they are all showing. And our hot air balloon is done. And as the tea light candle flickers, the reflection um, on the foil makes it look like it's the fire that's making the hot air balloon go up.
You can still at this stage, if you feel like you need to add something else, you can add any decoration, you can add some, some sparkle to it, some stickers, glitter, sequins, color it, whatever you feel like. Okay, you can still do it at this point. Thank you so much for joining me in the session today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.